guys, this is Ma'am Sheila, and let us continue to learn more about quadratic equations. Today, let us discuss another way of solving quadratic equation, and that is solving quadratic equation by factoring. This is the second way of solving a quadratic equation, and the first one is by extracting the square root. As you all know, factoring is not new topic for grade 9 students because you already discussed this competency when you were in grade 8. Some of the topics were common monomial factor, quadratic trinomial, and factoring completely. Your knowledge on this topic is needed in our discussion today. So let us have a review first. Let us factor 6x squared minus 12x. How many terms do we have here? Yes, there are two terms. Do they have a common factor? Yes, so in here we are going to identify their greatest common factor. The factors of 6x squared are 6x and x, while 12x are 6x and 2. The greatest common factor here is 6x and that will be our monomial. And the remaining factors, x and 2, will be our binomial. And we are going to follow the sign of the given expression, minus. So the factors are 6x and x minus 2. The process is called common monomial factor. Now, let us factor b squared minus 4b. This expression is a quadratic trinomial and its factors are two binomial. In here, you are going to find factors of positive 3 when you are going to combine or add will give you a sum of negative 4. Negative 3 and negative 1 is equal to positive 3. And when you add or combine, the answer is negative 4. So, the factors of b squared minus 4b plus 3 are b minus 3 and b minus 1. Now, let us have a squared minus 9a minus 10. In this case, you are going to find factors of negative 10 when combined will give you a negative 9. And the correct factors are negative 10 and positive 1. Because negative 10 times positive 1 is equal to negative 10. And if you add it, it is equal to negative 9. So the factors of a squared minus 9a minus 10 are a minus 10 and a plus 1. How about the last example? 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. How does it differ from the last two examples? Yes, this time around, the value of a is greater than 1. If this is the case, you are going to multiply a and c. And 2 times 6 is equal to 12. We are going to write a new expression. It will become x squared minus 7x. And then we are going to use the product. So we will be having plus 12. From here, you are going to find factors of positive 12 when combined will give you negative 7. Negative 4 times negative 3 is equal to positive 12. And when added... Negative 4 plus negative 3, it is equal to negative 7. So the factors are x minus 4 and x minus 3. But since originally the value of a is 2, there, you are going to divide both by 2. And then if we simplify, it will become x minus 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then the other one... 3 and 2 is not divisible, so you are going to write minus 3, you just copy, and then you are going to multiply this 2, it will give you 2x. So the factors are x minus 2 and 2x minus 3. To check if the factors are correct, we can multiply the two factors using FOIL method. If we use FOIL method, first terms, x times 2x, that's 2x squared, Outer terms, x times negative 3 is negative 3x. 
inner terms, negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. And then the last terms, negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. We can simplify that term. So it will become 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. Our product, obviously, is the same as our original given expression. Now, how are we going to use factoring in solving quadratic equation? You are just going to follow the following procedures. 1. Transform the quadratic equation using standard form in which one side is equal to 0. 2. You need to factor the non-zero side. Then, you are going to apply the zero product property. 4. You are going to solve each resulting equation. 5. Check the values of the variable obtained by substituting each in the original equation. So, let us have illustrative examples and use the following procedures. Number 1. 6x squared minus 12x equals 0. Step number one, you are going to transform the equation which one side is equal to zero. As you can see here, the right side is already equal to zero. So meaning to say, we are done with step number one. Two, factor the non-zero side. 6x squared minus 12x is the non-zero side. So to factor this, using common monomial factor, again, the factors are 6x six, six, and x, on the other side, we have 2x, 6x, and 2. Common monomial factor is 6x. Our binomial is x minus 2. Those are the factors. And then you are just going to copy equals 0. And then we are done with step number 2. Step number 3. Apply zero product property. Applying zero product property means you are going to equate each factor by 0. So the factors are 6x and x minus 2 by 0 product property equated by 0. So we will be having 6x equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. That's step number 3. <clears throat> number 4, solve each resulting equation. In the equation 6x equals 0, to solve for x, you are going to divide both sides by 6. Then x sub 1 is equal to 0. And then using addition property of equality, to solve for the next equation, x sub 2 will be equal to positive 2. Therefore, the solutions are 0 and 2. That is step number 4. And then lastly, you can check if the values are correct by substituting in the original equation, which is 6x squared minus 12x equals 0. If x is 0, 6 multiplied by 0 squared minus 12 times 0 equals 0. Simplify the exponent so that it will become 0. 12 minus 0 is 0. 6 times 0 is 0, minus 0, so 0 is equal to 0, both sides are equal, so x sub 1, 0 is correct. Now, if x is equal to 2, it will become 6, 2 squared, minus 12 times x again is 2, equals 0. 6, 2 squared is 4, minus 12 times 2 is 24, equals 0. 6 times 4 is 24, minus 24 equals 0. Obviously, 0 will be equal to 0. Both sides are correct, so 2 is correct. Our solutions are 0 and 2. Let us consider the equation b squared minus 4b equals negative 3. Following number 1, we are going to transform wherein one side is equal to 0. So you have negative 3. It should be equal to 0 using addition property of equality. Then the equation will become b squared minus 4b plus 3. That is step number 1. For step number 2, you are going to factor the non-zero side, which is b squared minus 4b plus 3. Again, the factors of 3 that will give you negative 4 are negative 3 and negative 1. So the factors are b minus 3 and b minus 1.
That is step number two. For step number three, you are going to apply zero product property. Again, the factors are B minus 3. The other one is B minus 1. Zero product property equals 0 and then equals 0 on the other side. Step number 3. 4. You are going to solve its resulting equation using addition property of equality. B sub 1 is equal to 3. Addition property again. B is equal. B sub 2 is equal to 1. So the solutions are 3 and 1. We are done with step number 4. To check if 3 and 1 are correct, we are going to use the original equation. B squared, B squared minus 4B equals negative 3. And if B is equal to 3, then 3 squared minus 4 times 3 equals negative 3. 3 squared is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, equals negative 3. 9 minus 12 is negative 3, and it is equal to negative 3. It is correct, so b sub 1, 3 is correct. If b is equal to 1, then we will be having 1 squared minus 4 times 1 equals negative 3. 1 squared is 1, 4 times 1 is 4, copy equals negative 3. 1 minus 4 is negative 3, and it is equal to negative 3. So, B sub 2 equals 1 is correct. 3 and 1 are the solutions of the given quadratic equation. Let us have example number 3. x squared minus 12x plus 35 equals 0. One side must be equal to 0, and as you can see, we are done with step number 1. Step number 2, factor the non-zero side. The factors of positive 35 are negative 7 and negative 5 because if you add it, it is equal to negative 12. So the factors are x minus 7 and x minus 5, then you are going to copy equals 0. That's step number 2. For step number 3, you are going to apply zero product property. The factors are x minus 7 and x minus 5. You equate each by 0, so we have equals 0 and equals 0. That's step number 3. 4. You are going to solve each resulting equation. Again, addition property of equality, x sub 1 is equal to 7 and x sub 2 is equal to 5. The solutions are 7 and 5. That's step number 4. To check again, we are going to use the original equation, x squared minus 12x plus 35 equals 0. If x is equal to 7, then we are going to substitute. It will become 7 squared minus 12 times 7 plus 35 equals 0. 7 squared is 49 minus 12 times 7 is 84 plus 35 equals 0. 49 minus 84 is negative 35. Is it negative 35? Yes, plus 35 equals 0. So we have 0 equals 0. Both sides of the equation is correct, equal. So x sub 1 is correct. If x is equal to 5, on the other hand, we have 5 squared minus 12 times 5 plus 35 equals 0. 5 squared is equal to 25 minus 12 times 5 is 60 plus 35 equals 0. 25 minus 60 is negative 35 and negative 35 plus 35 is 0. So x sub 2 is also correct. The solutions of the equation are 7 and 5. For our last example, let us have 2x squared minus 7x equals negative 6. One side must be equal to 0. So we have equal 0. Then it will become 2x squared minus 7x. Addition property, it will become positive 6. That's step number 1. For number 2, you are going to factor 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. A is greater than 1, so multiply 2 and 6. So our, it will become 12. So the equation will become x squared minus 7x plus 12 
equals 0. Factors of 12, that will give you negative 7 or negative 4 and negative 3. So, the factors are x minus 4 and x minus 3. But then again, a is greater than 1, it's 2. So, you need to divide each by 2 there. And if you simplify 4 divided by 2, so it will become x minus 2. 3 is not divisible by 2 again, so you copy negative 3 and multiply x and 2, that will give you 2x. So the factors are x minus 2 and 2x minus 3, that is step number 2. 3, applying zero product property, first factor is x minus 2, equated by 0, and the other one is 2x minus 3, equals 0. Step number 3 it is... 4. Solve the resulting equation, addition property of equality, x sub 1 is equal to 2. And to solve x, you are going to have 2x equals 3. You need to divide both sides by 2. So, x sub 2 is equal to 3 over 2. The solutions are 2 and 3 over 2. That's step number 4. Let us check if the values are correct. The original equation is 2x squared minus 7x equals negative 6. If x is equal to 2, then 2x again is 2 squared minus 7 times x again is 2 equals negative 6. Simplify the exponent first. So you have 2. 2 squared is 4. 7 times 2 is 14 equals negative 6. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 14 equals negative 6, and 8 minus 14 is negative 6 equals negative 6. So, x sub 1, 2 is correct. On the other hand, if x is equal to 3 over 2, using equation again, we have 2 times the value of x is 3 over 2, and then squared, minus 7 times the value of x is 3 over 2, equals negative 6. Simplify the exponent first. So 2, 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 is 9 over 4. 7 times 3, so that's negative 21 over 2 equals negative 6. You can simplify 2 and 4. It will become 1 and 2. So we will be having 9 over 2 minus 21 over 2 equals 6. Subtraction of similar fraction, you just combine the numerator, 9 minus 21 is negative 12, copy the denominator, 2 equals negative 6. 12 times negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6 and is equal to negative 6, which means 3 over 2 is correct. Therefore, the solutions are 2 and 3 over 2. So again, in solving quadratic equation by factoring, you are just going to follow the following procedure. 1. Transform the quadratic equation using standard form in which one side must be equal to 0. 2. You are going to factor the non-zero side. 3. You are going to apply the zero product property. 4. You are going to solve each resulting equation. And then lastly, you are going to check the values of the variable obtained by substituting each in the original equation. That's it for today. This is Mom Ferrer. Thank you for watching.